if people here today are going to take about or take away one thing and do one thing differently, what would you like to see them do, doing as a result of the uh, of the hour we spent together this morning? Okay, so we're quite passionate about climate change, and because I'm sitting at COP, my takeaway will be this: is that if you are not already measuring your carbon, start today. Yeah, go to your accounts department, find out what your utility bills are. You know, um, or contact us all, and we will direct you and signpost you. Attorney will to places where you can start to measure your carbon footprint. Set a baseline. Use that carbon footprint as a baseline. Um, be ambitious and set a zero carbon target, which is in line with science-based targets. Super important. Become part of this journey because what will happen then is that you're going to build your knowledge and capability, and organ- you know, within your own company to not only affect and help you run your own company better, but with every single customer around you, whether it's a B2B customer or whether your brand is actually out there in the public domain with consumers who are saying, actually, do I want to interact with your organization? What do you stand for? And why should I be spending my pounds or dollars or euros with you? So, so you know, so it starts with great measurement, but then it actually ends up with a great piece of you know, engagement with your own people and your customers. Thank you, Steve. Tony. Yeah, I, I certainly concur with all with all that Steve has said there. I think one of the other things we'd like to think about is the education of ESG. Uh, so really getting the culture of ESG into an organization is really the fundamental uh, piece of importance there. So a lot of companies are starting this ESG journey, um, recognizing it's a big challenge, thinking it could be very complex. Um, I think it's very important that we start to look at the education of ESG into organizations, you know, any, anything around e-learning platforms or even basic ESG um, reporting that allows organizations to understand a little bit more about the industry itself. It becomes a little bit less daunting when we start to see that coming to fruition at the early phases. I think um, the industry has, uh, it is a very complicated industry and it certainly on paper looks very complicated, just the amount of frameworks and different directions of travel so it's really trying to make sure that you focus on what you think is right for your own organization, your own business, and following that journey effectively. So when you take that stance, and even if you're just starting at the beginning phases of it with one or two uh, key performance indicators, you're already on the right track. And so it's getting your first foot forward and continuing to educate uh, on this whole journey map because it's a constant learning curve as well. Uh, but if you can get those elements in place, I think the whole process around this massive subject becomes just a little less daunting and becomes a lot more effective. 